everyone, it's Alex from Alex's English class. Today I'm going to introduce to you about black holes, and today is part three. Well, as I said in my black hole video, part one and part two, black holes can actually use their gravitational pull and then rip stars into their elementary particles. But today I'm going to talk about the black hole information paradox. This means that black holes can delete our universe. Well, then first, what is information? Well, information is, well, let's say we have a bunch of carbon atoms. Arrange it in some way, you get coal. Arrange it in a different way, you get a diamond. So, they have the same atoms, but they have the different information. So, if everything in our world doesn't have information, well, everything is the same. A clock and a very enormous building is the same. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, so that's why we need information. And then, now when we add some atoms, we get a banana. And also, when we actually turn the arrangement, we get a squirrel. So, they're different, but that's why there is information, even though they have the same atoms. But, here's where black holes come in. They can swallow up information. This means that I may be relative and that our world may be relative. But there are three possibilities. First, information is lost forever. So we have to, well, redo almost all of our physics. And then we have to make new physics according to, well, what has happened because of, it. well, black holes have eaten up all our information. And then, that's what happens when information is all lost. Then secondly, information is hidden. Well, information may be hidden by, well, black holes may make a little black hole with all the information that it swallowed. Or maybe when it explodes, it leaves a information diamond with all the information. That may be what will happen. It's like you have a hard drive with, well, all of your family photos, but you can't get access to it. So, well, it's very great somebody hasn't deleted it, but it doesn't help. Yeah. And then third, information is, well, safe now. But... Where do black holes, well, store their information? Let's say we have a room full of dirty laundry, and then you put some pressure on it, and then you'll make a black hole. Put in more laundry, the room gets more bigger for the black hole. So in real life, black holes, every information we put in it, black holes, surface gets bigger, the event horizon gets bigger to get that information in. But here, three dimensional things come in, but then are actually encoded into something 2D. So, this is called a hologram, where a 2D picture may look like a 3D picture. Black holes are just like holograms. But, if it, if black holes have a hologram, and then we are holograms, and the universe may be a hologram. Well, so, everything we know about the universe is wrong. But the physics uh, actually that supports this theory is very hard. So I can't put that all in the, this video. And so that's about the information paradox. And black holes may be a key to find about our big universe. Okay, today I introduced you 
about black holes part three. And next time I'll come with a different topic. Bye bye. See you next.